in this video i will show you how to create a beautiful speedometer chart like what you see on the screen in excel so the pointer data is here so now it is on 45 so if i change it to 85 see what happens and change it to 30 the inner one shows the categories poor average good excellent the outer one shows the scale 10 20 30 till 100 and the pointer shows the pointer data let's now create the speedometer chart so before creating the chart let us understand the data so this speedometer chart consists of two donut charts and one pie chart so the data for the first donut chart shows the category poor average excellent and the values are 20 50 20 10 we will understand the the significance of this data while we create the chart and all these values including the total adds up to 200 so you can see here 200 and similarly the second donut chart shows the scale of the speedometer chart so 10 20 30 up to 100 and the values so all these values adds up to 100 and the total is 100 and together with total it adds up to 200 now next is a pie chart which has the pointer so these three values first one is the pointer value and then is the pointer thickness and then the balance figure subtracting the total of thickness and pointer value from 200 because 200 is the total so these three values together sum up to 200 so i have added a formula here remaining so two times this total minus sum of pointer and thickness so so if i change this value to 30 the 154 changes to 169 so that the total adds up to 200 so i'll change it back to 45 let's insert the chart so click on insert menu go to the charts group click on this chart select donut chart it creates an empty chart here so click on this chart right click select data add this value including the total from category and we'll edit the category in series name as category okay okay so the values start from here and goes right like this so now we have to change the angle of the donut chart slice so for that select the chart right click format data series so angle of first slice so change it to 270 because it starts from here so our aim is to bring this big semicircle below here so now it is here so we have to bring this point to 90 180 degree and 270 degree we have to bring this point here so for that if i change it to 90 degree you see it reached here only now if i change it to 180 degree it is here now i change it to add one more 90 degree to make it 270 degree now it has positioned at the bottom half so now i will close this so this bigger semicircle corresponds to this 100 so i'll remove this legend so now i'll select this semicircle data for 100 value 100 i will uh, click on the right mouse and say no fill to so it is removed from the view so i'm going to change the color based on the category here so poor should get red average yellow like that so i'll select this this piece corresponding to poor right click the right mouse change the color to red now click on the next section for average change the color to yellow next section for good change the color to blue last section fill green mm -hmm. now i will add data labels so right right click the mouse add data labels but this is not i want i want to display poor average good excellent click on data labels click the right mouse format data labels so click on value from cells and select these values click ok now i will uncheck the value so it will remove the value to show only so, so i'll so i'll click on this make it bold now i will increase the size a little bit now i will change the orientation of each of these label so first one this format data label alignment i'll select the custom angle i'll increase this i'll click on this so it rotates similarly for other labels and notice this one i have removed the fill color so it is not visible so now this part is set so i'll remove this chart title now click on the chart right click select data my intention is to add the donut chart scale data the second donut 
so add i'll name the series as values click on this select the values from the second table including the total click ok now as we did previously select the bottom semicircle right click click on fill no fill now select the second donor chart right click add data labels so i'm going to add data labels i'll select the data labels make it bold but i don't want this 10 10 10 so instead i will print the values on the left side of the table so i'll click on the right mouse format data labels please check the value from cells and i will give the values like this okay and uncheck the value so leader lines i remove as the visibility is issue so i'll change it to yellow color so it is visible so now the second donor chart is also created with the data labels with the scale showing the scale now we have to create the pie chart showing the pointer for that i will click on the right mouse select data i will add series i will name as pointer and the values i will select these three values from the third table showing the pie chart data click ok it also created a donut chart so i will select the one change series type so now it is a combo type so third pointer i want as a pie chart so i change it to pie chart click ok select the pie chart i will change the fill to no fill and i will select just the pointer data the pointer thickness as one i'll change the color of the just the pointer representing data one value one to black i have removed the color of the remaining part of the pie chart select this one to make this visible more visible i will increase the point explosion to five percent five percent so now i will select the pie chart change the border to no line now i will select just this pointer right click and data label data label so it printed one i will make it bold i will increase the size increase the size of this so here i want to print the value 45 not the thickness so i will select this i'll click on this box equal to 45 i'll select the cell so it displays 45 Oh, there is another issue with this so the angle of slice has changed so 45 is shown against 100 so i will write format data series angle of slice for the other two donut charts was 270 so i will make the angle of slice for the pie chart also as 270 now 45 will come to the right place now the issue is resolved and i will change show leader lines i will remove i will click on outside it now if i change it to 85 I'll print 85 20 show 20 now i can show the pointer value in a text box also for that i have to click on the insert text box i'll insert text box here select the text box type the formula select the pointer value i'll increase the size i'll make center center so now if i print 75 type 75 75 will be printed 50 that's it for now thanks for watching this video please click on like button if you find the information i shared useful and update comments also please subscribe to my channel to get notified about new videos which i will post in future